what do we call this going to get pedicures like i think this might be my last one i don't know what to do i'm gonna be gone for a long time i think they are so cute oh my gosh the question is will it close let me sit on it <laughs> Welcome to the start of a new vlog. This is going to be a maintenance vlog, you guys. I'm going to be doing my hair, girl. I'm going to be doing my nails, my toes, body care, everything in this vlog to get ready for vacay. So we're in the car right now. We're getting ready to go into Sally's to get a few things. But before we go in there, girl, if you are new to my channel, hey, girl, hey, my name is India. Um, definitely be sure you hit that subscribe button down below, girl. Turn your post notifications on. Give the video a thumbs up. Join the fam over here. Okay, so I am basically getting ready to to go on vacation and I need to get a few things for my hair so I'll go ahead and tell you guys what hairstyle we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing some bohemian knotless braids DIY style girl okay so the actual full installation video is going to be on my hair channel so you guys definitely be sure to go ahead and subscribe over there of course the like detailed tutorial like real tutorial like how to do the install and all of that like step by step of course you guys are going to see it too um but yeah let's go ahead and go into sally's i basically need some color and stuff i already have the braiding hair i already have the curly hair hopefully you guys are not bothered by my sunglasses but baby it's very sunny and it's very hot it's 95 degrees so let's go ahead and get out the car do what we got to do so we can be done can i ask you about this color um so i was looking well i don't really know it's gonna be my first time like dyeing my hair with this and not like box dye and so i bought 1b hair but i know this says jet black so i don't want my hair to be jet black so you think if i do jet black and then mix with the darkest brown that that'll give me like a 1b um or no like what do people buy for like a 1b Color. probably like a 2n which they don't have which they don't have in that brand i didn't see any brands that said i own this darkest brown darkest brown mm -hmm. that looks really brown though and if you think do you think if i mixed the darkest brown and the the two in and the one in do you think the one in it would like take make, over it might make it a little bit darker okay but it's gonna probably be lighter than this okay okay so i didn't really show you guys much uh, one they have music playing so i really couldn't talk to y'all and then for two i really didn't get anything <laughs> um i got some gloves some plastic caps um and like this treatment for like color treated hair by ion and then i think like maybe oh and a little um like root touch up mascara wand looking thing so i'm not going to dye my hair i mean i am but i'm not gonna dye it with well i'm not gonna color my hair with actual permanent hair color that you like mix up with developer and stuff because i just feel like i don't know if it's gonna come out right because basically they only had jet black and then they had darkest brown and the little you know like when you go to sally's like they'll show you on the little like piece of hair what the color looks like and the darkest brown looked very brown to me like very brown um uh, my hair is black like i wouldn't say my hair is brown i would say my hair is black um it has been dyed many times <laughs> with box dye not many but like a few times with box dye so my hair is definitely black um but when i use um, when I color my hair with like box dye, I use the Revlon Color Silk and I use soft, soft black, I think is what it's called. So I just felt like I was like, if I get this color and I mix it up and it turns out to be like almost jet black, it's not going to match the braiding hair because the braiding hair is a 1B and the curly pieces are also a 1B. So if the hair is too black, it won't match the braiding hair. Then if I put, don't put enough and it ends up being dyeing my hair more brown which I definitely would hate um, because I like having black hair so that's not gonna work either so even though box dye really is not good for your hair at all uh, I'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> 
and um, I'm just gonna do it anyway and I'll try to make this the last time that I do it because when fall comes I'm gonna go get my real hair like done like pressed out and stuff and I'll get you know a nice good black permanent dye from a professional hairstylist okay so I thought it was gonna be so much easier I was like so shocked I was like they don't have like I mean I know colors don't come like in like 1b and like two three you know like actual colors that you buy but I thought I don't know I guess I thought they would have like jet black and then like soft black you know how the box dye is but girl it does not so that's it for that so now we're now we're about to go to Target so I can get the box dye I'll probably show that to you guys and then I'm literally filming two vlogs at one time so if y'all have not seen my other vlogs go check them out okay Okay, y'all, so I'm getting ready to pack my pajamas. Here are my packing cubes. So this is my biggest one, so I'm definitely gonna save that. I'm thinking I'm gonna do, I think you get quite a few. I'm thinking, let me show y'all the other sizes. So this one I'm definitely keeping for my underwear for sure. And then here are the other two sizes. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use, this is the biggest, like the second to largest. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. So I really like these because I love the net. You can see inside so you know what it is. And it even comes with these so you can like actually secure things in place. So super cute. Actually, I don't know. Do I want to use these? Maybe. Let's just open them. Okay, so here are all of my pajamas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This pink so all of this in this bottom area is from my loungewear store. My loungewear store is ajayofficial.com. I will put the name across the screen so you guys can be sure to shop and pick up some of these cute sets. And then I actually have one more pair in the washing machine right now that's like silk like this. And then everything else is like JCPenney's Forever 21. Not Forever 21, girl. JCPenney's and Fashion Nova. And this is from like Macy's or something, I think. These are Macy's. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... These things are really thin, so I'm thinking they should roll up quite nicely. So here's my first thing already folded, and then I'm just literally going to roll it like this. Okay, so this is more than enough PJs right here. And then I also want to bring like these two things. And I also have one more in the washing machine. So these, this is going to be for when my period comes, girl. I love these little shorts. They're from Target. They come in like a bunch of different colors and prints and stuff. So cute. I literally, this is like so TMI, but somebody might care, girl. So I normally wear like regular underwear. Love, love, love the overnight honey pot pads. And then I'll wear these on top. And it's like, you know, nice and comfy, but like, you know, still cute. So yeah, love these. So I'm going to pack two, probably three of these as well. So I think I'm going to put these like at the bottom and I'm just going to wear it with a little tank top, little white tank top, something simple. Okay, we are getting ready to try on these pieces. If y'all watched the collective haul, y'all saw these. If y'all have not, definitely be sure to go check out the Amazon collective haul. After you guys watch this video, because I hauled a ton, ton of stuff that is perfect. Girl, perfect for like any day really, but you know, like vacay type stuff. So we have three pairs of shorts, black, cream, and tan. I like this brown color. And then we have the long legging set, the pants, and it comes with two different tops. This one with the little keyhole, and then this one that's like the square neck. So let's try these on and see how they look. The first set that I have, this is likely gonna be my airport outfit. So all black, long leggings all the way down, long sleeve shirt, super tight like compression, like fitting. I went ahead and got a medium. I wear a small, but I got a medium because I knew the material was gonna be super tight. So if you want to be able to breathe, girl, I would recommend you size up. Could I have fit a small? Most likely, but I just feel like the medium is more comfortable and it's still like, very tight and like very fitted you know so super cute i have to try it on the other top this one is the one that has like the little keyhole super super cute love this 
this is the other top it's like that super square neck it's really cute bro these shorts oh my gosh like y'all do not sleep on this brand i'm gonna link i know i keep talking about the amazon haul but like y'all need this if y'all are looking for basics this is the brand this is the brand like same shirt all i did was change into the shorts the shorts are actually a little more high-waisted which i love personally i think it looks just even better so cute and they're short but they're not like short short you know like i really appreciate this <laughs> Do y'all try on all your outfits before you pack? Like, or do you just pack and then just hope this stuff looks cute together? Like, if I've worn it before, like, if I've worn the same outfit before, I could just pack it. Like, I've seen it on my body. I've seen it put together. But things that I'm, like, testing out, I'm just like, I have to put the whole thing on. So, I just tried on a dinner outfit, which I didn't even show y'all. But I was like, oh, well, let me just show y'all a few things. I was like, this is not a try-on haul. This is a pack with me. But these are things that I'm packing. So, these shorts, sh what? These shorts are from Target this tank top or this um what do we call this a bandeau i guess it's kind of like a bandeau top um i don't know where it's from <laughs> probably fashion nova and then this shirt is from sam's baby this white linen shirt is it's gap but it's from sam so it's pretty long because you can't see even see my shorts in the back but i'm thinking about this as a little fit i think this is cute let me put on my shoes and grab my bag and we'll see okay so the bag which the bag is very much giving the bag is in my amazon storefront baby this bag is so freaking cute and it comes in many many colors but i mean the green on green like it really it does something for me and then i'm not bringing i'm bringing a decent amount of us i'm bringing like three pairs of tennis shoes three pairs of heels i think i'm gonna throw these sandals in there but i have on my vans i don't think y'all can see my tannish colored vans with this or these gold sandals so it will really just depend on the weather but these are really thin so I'm pretty sure I could fit these in my bag ignore my hair please I've been trying things on taking them off but I feel like this is cute this is cute these are the jeans from Old Navy shout out to Old Navy for the jeans because what I mean I only have on one shoe ignore but I'm gonna do these vans with it this little top um graphic tee is from Target bag amazon you already know it's gonna be linked okay yes this is kind of cute I was, okay i'm not gonna show y'all all the outfits but this one really this one is really this one is it this one is it man the jeans y'all don't sleep on old navy because i haven't bought stuff from old navy in mad long like i have not gotten stuff from old navy in so long and i went in there to look for a jean jacket which they had a few but they didn't have like an oversized look that i wanted and we saw they had jeans i was with my mom she ended up getting the same pair so not the cream ones but we both have this light wash pair that i'm about to like try to style next and this cream pair fire like they fit so good do not sleep on old navy girl this outfit came out super duper cute love it hello and happy thursday so i have my laptop right here it's a few days later a few days like two or three days later um so i'm just doing stuff in like increments right so i was playing around with clothes the other day trying to figure out outfits i have my mac right here because my mom made this is like a big family vacation okay so my mom made an itinerary for all the days like the itinerary for the entire trip so I'm looking at this and trying to see what I think I want to wear each day and then I basically plan an outfit for every day based on whatever we're doing and then I'll bring of course like a few extra outfits in case I decide oh I don't want to wear this or oh no like it's too hot or it's too cold or whatever so I'm trying to figure out what I want my airport outfit to be and then at some point during this trip I'm going to be on my period which just sucks like I just feel like we should just be able to just be like you know what we're really busy right now please stay where you are <laughs> so I'm trying to make sure I have some like comfortable period outfits which for me is just anything black <laughs> so um, I'm trying to figure that out and see so I feel like I'm gonna plan all my outfits like what I would want to wear ideally and then I'll bring up bring a few like backup period outfits like oh I feel comfortable wearing this right now so yeah that's gonna be the plan so i need to figure out what i want to wear to the airport and then the next day we're doing breakfast 
we're going to like this garden place we're doing like a little happy hour dinner the next day next day we're going to be walking on like this this like waterfront um thing that has like all these different restaurants and like shops and things so kind of like a stroll around like that area and we're going to spend basically the whole day over there and then go to dinner and then the next day we're leaving for our next um our next place okay because it's going to be multiple places that we're going over this uh this vacation so I'm just trying to see and looking at the itinerary I normally type down at the bottom like what I want so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like do I want to throw all my clothes on the bed let, let me go see let me let me get my stuff my closet looks insane what is this like oh my gosh I just have like so much stuff just everywhere I'm trying to see can I sit y'all like this so I have my um I'm looking here at the itinerary I need to bring eight dinner outfits <laughs> so some of the days we're gonna be just like out all day just eating dinner and some of the days we're gonna actually go back and change and like you know get ready and like cute for dinner so I'm bringing eight dinner outfits and I'm just trying to see I have a few options that I've put together so I'm just trying to these two things I had just washed so I'm like let me just throw these on the hanger and then go through and figure out what I want to wear okay these are all of my options for dinner so let's take a look see okay this I'm bringing as a bet this is my birthday dress literally so I'm gonna bring this as a backup dress for one of our like nice upscale dinners this is a little like champagne colored little pants set y'all know I'm gonna definitely bring this for sure just because it's like casual this is for another night both of these are for other another night of formal and then this some black shorts this little top from Zara just quite a few things one of the nights we're wearing gold so I'm definitely gonna bring this dress and it's just like so many options these are period proof this one one two that's really it okay so I had to put on robe on right quick because I started trying on clothes again so I think that I have everything that I need and I have definitely neutraled myself to death because what what look at this like am I being for real right now these are the outfits why is everything tan cream black and white I am beyond like joked <laughs> this is the only color that I have this bright green I do have color in my dinner outfits um though like some of them like I have some hot pink pants got that blue dress I'm trying to bring so yeah but daytime outfits is giving very much neutral tees okay basically I have ideally planned out what I would like to wear each day and wrote it out on my itinerary and now I'm just like grabbing a few little extra things that are like like simple so like this let me show y'all this set is so comfy this shirt is like let me come in this shirt is like kind of oversized and then it comes with are, oh my gosh are they on here no they are it comes with these matching leggings it says from fashion over this green is so pretty and it's just a really comfy set because one night we might do like a movie night so I'm like okay I might want to go take off my dinner clothes and like you know put on this and some I don't know I could put on tennis shoes but whatever but you know just something comfy to wear so like I was like let me go ahead and bring this and then I'm bringing a raincoat I'm bringing a little black cardigan just to bring to dinner at night in case I need something to like throw over my shoulders and let's see that's pretty much it I have like one two I have like two other full oh can y'all even see me I have like two other full outfits that I'm bringing and then like a little comfy all-in-one that I'm gonna bring it's like super soft and it's black so I'm like yeah let me just grab that and that's it for like my extra outfits so not too too much I really I really did good and I honestly like my outfits I have a lot of like really comfy things and I got like two like looks looks with those jeans from Old Navy that I just feel like the whole outfit is just gonna be so cute but yeah girl so I guess ah! so I have a my suitcase right here so I think I'm actually gonna start like 
rolling things up and trying to put it inside. So the weight, so I think it's, my mom said $40 a bag if it's 50 pounds. If it's over 50 pounds, it's additional $100. So $40 to check the bag plus 100. So I'm either gonna be paying $40 or I'm gonna be paying $140. I don't know, like, I don't even know if I bought a little weight thing that I um, ordered from Amazon that should be here like tomorrow, but I don't even know. I mean, does it even matter? Like, if it's over 50 pounds, it's just over 50 pounds. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna be gone for a long time. I need my shit. <laughs> so let's start just like rolling some things, putting it in so I can kind of see you know, put all my definite stuff in there so I can kind of see like, okay, can I bring a little extra of this, a little extra of that, you know? decision to decide which ones I want to leave at home <laughs> I don't know I have so many like I honestly do I didn't realize I don't know I guess between all the pajamas that I have for my actual store and then like all the ones that I've bought so let's count them out so we have in here let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 way too many 10 is the max I'm gonna bring two silk robes. I'm gonna bring my black, my black one just cause it's black. So I'm gonna bring this one. And then I also have this yellow one, which all these nightgowns actually have matching robes. This is from my loungewear store. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this, this yellow one just for, cause if I like make reels, I like to wear colored robes. So I'll probably save this for my reels. And then I'll wear the black one to like actually you know, like this one is like more for, more for content <laughs> and the black one is like to really wear, do my makeup in, put on when I get out of the shower and all of that. So let's see. I don't know how people pack hours or like the day before they leave. I could never, I couldn't do it. Like it is after three, like three or four, I am still packing. <laughs> like, look at everything. It looks so cute though. I'm literally in love with these packing cubes you guys these are from amazon if y'all have not seen the amazon travel haul then y'all have to go watch it after you watch this video but these are so fire of course they're gonna be in my amazon um storefront i put all my evening wear in here socks bras pajamas underwear and then i have all my daytime clothes over here planning to put my shoes and my jewelry in my like um my like roller carry on that's gonna be like stowed above. And then of course I'm gonna have my little like one personal carry on item. So I'll have that. And then basically the only thing that still needs to go in here, my bag of toiletries and maybe like a pair of shoes. I don't, I don't know how many shoes can fit in my other thing. So I'm just trying to decide, is that enough for today? Like <laughs> I'm kind of over it at this point. I would love to just like take a break. So I think I don't know, I'm gonna clean up my room. I don't have too much stuff. Like, oh, I need to put my raincoat and my um, sweater in there. And then that's pretty much it. 
put these little, um, those little clothes away right there. And then, yeah, I might be done for, I might be done for today. So we'll see. Hola. Happy Thursday, girl. Last thing I'm pretty sure I showed y'all was me and Sally's. I'm really trying to just like really stick to maintenance stuff because it's supposed to be a maintenance vlog, right? So I'm in my bed, literally. <laughs> But I'm watching, um, I'm watching Homecoming on Netflix and I'm about to go ahead and take this polish off of my toes. So my toes, honestly, let's, let's have a look-see. So, I mean, all the polish is still on. I have acrylic on my big toes and like my toes have been like this for a month, literally. The, uh, when you get acrylic on your big toe, like the polish does not chip, but this is um, when I got my toes done last time, I got a refill on my acrylic and I just feel like my toenails, my big toe is like way too long, like way too long. So apparently when they do a refill, it's just not, I mean, she was like, this is like, is this good? And I'm like, I mean, I guess. And then I asked her if she could file it a little more and then she filed it some more and it still looked long to me. So I'm just like, oh, okay, maybe, um, I feel like they just have a hard time filing when they have acrylic on it. So I want to go with my toenail shaped properly because I want to get acrylic again but I want it to be like you know fresh so um so yeah I have my drill right here which I showed y'all in the last maintenance vlog I got this from Amazon so I'm just gonna try to do how they do girl just file a little bit on the top and then I have my acetone my cotton rounds and my foil so I'm just gonna put the acetone on the cotton rounds put it on my toe and then wrap it in the foil I don't know how long 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes we'll see until it soaks off and then I'm literally gonna like cut and shape my own nail you guys okay going to get pedicures like I think this might be my last one I feel like I want to start trying to do my own toes because they just never come out the way that I want them to come out like not only this time were they like way too long well my big toes were like way too long but on top of that the big the my right foot that toenail is so crooked I was like ma'am what I just feel like they are never like oh my gosh these are perfect I'm so super in love they're exactly what I wanted like it's like okay like you know they look good but they could look better you know so I don't know just just food for thought five 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 on the clock so maybe this is a good idea it means change okay hey, how well you know me let's see how I long this so. takes for you I'm getting ready to pack my jewelry. I have my case right here that I got from Amazon. You can put all your um, necklaces and stuff here and like fasten them. Well, put them through the little elastic band. You have a little compartment here. This you can use for earrings, rings, and then this is another little case. So we're about to pack this up and see how everything lays in it. But this is <laughs> all the jewelry that I'm bringing. It's just a lot, I don't know. I pretty much brought like all my necklaces for bracelets, we have regular, for gold bangles, this kind of like dressier bangle, which is so pretty. And then I have these two, a few little earrings. Girl, just a few, a few little different things. All my rings and stuff, well, pretty much gold. I only have one silver ring here, but I ordered some silver rings, literally that are just the exact ones like this, but in silver. And they are in my mailbox. I just have to go get them, so... I'll be packing those as well, but this is everything basically. So let's go ahead and put it inside of here and we'll see what it looks like. So I ended up needing two cases. I was able to put all my necklaces in here. I have like one, like two little bracelets in here. Earrings, some of my rings, have to put the silver ones on when I get them. I put my bangles in here and a few other things and then I ended up having to put some earrings and a few other things in here. So between these two, it works. Obviously, you don't have to bring as much jewelry as I'm bringing. I just don't know what I'm going to want it, what I'm going to want to wear. So I kind of brought a lot, but I mean, I don't know. Hmm. Happy Saturday. I'm getting ready to pack my toiletries. So I have my bag right here bag is from amazon i'm just gonna link the amazon haul below and the link to my amazon storefront so anything i y'all see that i say is from amazon y'all can y'all can get it so here's the thing right here i have one just like this in a smaller version this is the biggest size they have so i went ahead and got this one you get four little compartments so i'm about to see how exactly i want to set this up it's my old toiletry bag i mean like like super old like it literally has no compartment so i just keep it under my sink which is all my little travel stuff 
in it like pretty much any little bottles or anything that I have I keep in here like honestly some of them still have stuff in them so this one is empty so I kind of honestly oh, I honestly would just probably like smell it and then I can tell what was in it before if I can't tell then I'll just wash the whole thing um and put a fresh one in so yeah so I don't really know exactly exactly how I want to set this up um I guess I think I put like toothpaste and like my toothbrush and stuff in here last time so I think I'm gonna do that again so I've been using the hello toothpaste so I'm gonna bring this it, please ignore my nails <laughs> some of them my little stickies have come off and I'm really just waiting until tomorrow like after I wash my hair to take them off completely so we'll put this at the top and then I have my toothbrush here which is literally my travel toothbrush it's the only time I use it <laughs> and then oh I have to get my little bags this is some of the stuff pretty much all of the rest of my toiletry stuff that I've got from Target like I bought a little mini bottle of Listerine so this is definitely going to go in the top part with the toothbrush stuff. Okay I feel like this is so much better to pack so toothbrush stuff at the top and then next I think I'm going to do should I do skincare next I guess skincare body care extras. Mm. So of course I can't pack all my skincare right now so I just have my soap my witch hazel some cotton rounds my serum this is probably going to be the only serum that i bring it's the bioma clarifying oh maybe this is a for oh no there we go okay and then this is moisturizer and an aquaphor so i'll you know fix that up once i'm able to add my other things in body lotion i'm bringing this whole thing of shave oil because like how am i supposed to package this and then my little mini cakey bump eraser deodorant little mini deodorant my little mini micellar water to help to take off my makeup q-tips maybe i'll put the q-tips in here a little mini vaseline okay so this is how the bag is looking so far i'll probably just show y'all the final look <laughs> once i um actually put everything in which really won't be till the night before this is like all i can put in right now this is the perfume case things from amazon so you can like take these and pump perfume into them i'm really just using it for body spray because y'all know these bath and body work things are so big and i love 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 this gingham gorgeous it smells so good so i love the body spray and the lotion and i like to pair it with my versace brett crystal which is this right here now this bottle is small and i think it's only one ounce as well I want to say it is yeah it's one ounce and it's clear so I can actually bring this like in my carry-on so I'm gonna do that that and then I'm also probably gonna bring cloud just because this bottle is pretty small and it smells so good I love I love this perfume so I'm probably gonna bring both of those and then I got if y'all saw the shop with me video y'all saw I got the little travel size of um why saw black opium so I'm gonna bring that and then that might be it and then maybe i think i really want to bring this um skylar clean beauty vanilla sky this smells super good so i really like to mix this with cloud so i might try to bring that as well and that's going to be a wrap on the perfumes so i have three of these little tubes so i can bring three max of these so let's see how it works so basically you just turn it and take this out and then this is the little clear part now this one already has fairy tale in it. So I'm just gonna take the top off. And then I think, yeah, you literally just pull the little cap off like this. You take this, I'm trying to like show y'all, this little thing that comes in it, put it on top, and then you hold i know this is like so bad because i have so much stuff behind me but you take it literally and then you just press down and it goes in the bottle can y'all see it there we go and i'm just gonna fill it all the way up 
this has like a vanilla scent so this is a nice like layering um thing for cloud as well and for vanilla sky so it'll give you a little bit of extra the notes are pomegranate nectar fresh orange blossom vanilla bean and warm amber so it's kind of, i don't know it's a little wintry but like not too wintry okay this is how it looks And then you just take the top, screw it in, and then put it back in this little case and you just turn it. It's literally the cutest little thing. I love the colors and it fits, you know, just like in your purse so you can carry it around with you all day. Turn it and spray. Okay, this is my little perfume bag. So what I ended up doing was, I put everything in here just to take it out to show y'all. <laughs> Okay, so I have two lotions. I have the Gingham Gorgeous. I have the Fairy Tale. The Fairy Tale is like a vanilla scent, and then the Gingham Gorgeous is like a floral. So basically, those are the type of fragrances I bought. I'm also going to bring this little finery vanilla, not vanilla candy, magnetic candy, which is the dupe for Prada candy. So I'm going to bring that. And then I have Gingham Gorgeous, Fairy Tale, and um, the um, Skylar Clean Beauty Vanilla Sky. So I have those. This is my little black opium. I'll probably be wearing this as my nighttime fragrance. So I have that. And then I had two little samples. When I bought that black opium, she gave us two samples. So I have those. One is um, Born in Roma and then the other one is Good Girl. So I said I'll just go ahead and use these up. Might as well. So I put them in a little Ziploc and then that. And then this Ariana Grande Cloud, this top keeps coming off. So I'm just putting a Ziploc as well. And I should be able to stand that up and then I'm going to bring my little Versace bright crystal and that is our combination of fragrances so we're all good good morning guys today is sunday it is several days after i showed y'all that sally's clip but now we are like officially officially starting to get ready so i'm about to do my hair so these are my crochet braids that i've been wearing for like the last month i don't know if i already mentioned in this video or not but i do have another channel which is a hair channel completely voted to different hairstyles so if you guys ever want to know about my hair it's over there channel is India Ajay linked in the description box down below okay so I'm about to go ahead and cut this out and we're gonna be dyeing our hair so I ended up picking up this Revlon color silk soft black box dye this is the dye that I've been using for like years um anytime well not years like maybe like the last two years since I've been like putting um a black dye in my hair like every few months and this is the one that I like. This is the only box dye I believe. Did I, already, I think I, I put that explain explanation clip of why I didn't get the um the other hair color from Sally. So I'm gonna just put that clip before this so y'all know what's going on and why I got this box dye. So let's go ahead and just mix this up and go ahead and put this color in, girl. Now today's products. Actually, I'm gonna show y'all the products just like in a lineup instead of showing y'all everything one by one. So let's go ahead and jump right into this little dye. I'm about to go ahead and mix up. I bought two, so two should be enough. I'm trying to see, y'all know with the sink area, you gotta try to make sure everything is covered so that you're good. Let me, I got these gloves from Sally's. These are black, like black vinyl gloves, gloves. It comes with gloves in the pack, but I was just like, oh, let's get these. Oh yeah, these are nice. So I'll be using these today, cool. Let's mix. Oh, I, uh, I'm about to mix the dye up like I don't have to cut this crochet hair out and take down my cornrows. I'm tripping. <laughs> That's how quickly I'm ready to move on. I'm like so excited about the um about the style. So let me go ahead and cut these crochet braids out. I do have leave out, so I just want to like separate that a little bit. I'm really excited for this style. Like, oh my gosh. Thank you. 
nice and just black, you know? <laughs> so I'm getting ready to go ahead and detangle. So I know I said I was gonna bring you guys down and show y'all the products one by one, but girl, here are the products. We're gonna be using Vegamore today. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Vegamore, if you've ever seen. They have um, ads that run on YouTube videos like all the time. So you guys may have actually seen these products before. These products, 12 out of 10, okay? I kid you not, I have actually a full review on these products on my hair channel. If y'all wanna see that, head over there after you're done watching this maintenance vlog, girl, and check it out for more details on the products. But it basically um, contains a vegan alternative to keratin, which is called Carmitin. So it's really good to help with frizz. So it's literally called the Hydrate Collection. It's Hydrate and Repair hydrate and repair conditioner hydrate and repair shampoo and i'm also going to be using the deep conditioner today which is the deep moisture repair mask now i won't even lie to you baby these products are expensive af okay this little jar which is only five ounces is like 55 dollars at sephora um it's worth it i wouldn't lie to you it is worth it um they actually sent me these products um in pr and I have like very little conditioner left. Y'all know I don't just don't use as much shampoo. So I have like half a bottle of shampoo. And this is actually my second jar of deep conditioner. They sent me one and then I actually bought one for myself. And then this is the one that I bought and I'm gonna finish it today. Like I hope I even have enough to um, do my whole head. I might have to mix it with something. But they're amazing, like amazing, amazing products. And because I'm doing these knotless braids, I just wanna use the products that I feel like are really good for, um, for frizz you know, just to really help maintain my hair while it's in my braids. So yeah, we're using this. Oh, and this was the product that I just rinsed out of my head. This is the Ion Color Solutions Color Defense After Color Seal. So literally as soon as I rinsed my, um, my hair color out, I went ahead and applied this all over, let it sit for like 10 minutes and then rinsed it out. So it's supposed to be good at like sealing in the color. So I went ahead and did that. And now we're about to detangle. So. I, uh, I mean, it, my hair has gotten a little bit detangled just from, you know, like playing with it, but I need to actually go through, see like this? Yeah, right? Cause my hair has not been combed out cause it's been cornrowed. So I'm about to go ahead and detangle first. I always detangle before I shampoo my hair. So that's what I'm about to go ahead and do. So let's get started. So washing my hair it's 4 48 p.m everything everything is nice and clean and black i'm getting ready to separate my hair from my braids so i have the pre-stretched hair and then i have the curly hair so i figured i would just pull like i have two racks so i figured i would just pull whatever could fit on the two racks and that'll be it i mean at least that's something to, like get me started right so i'll be starting this I was thinking about starting tonight, but it's already five o'clock. So I'm like, mm, no, I think I'll just wait and start in the morning like I originally planned. So fingers crossed, girl. I'm really, really, really excited about this hairstyle. But I just, you know, I want it to come out like really good, you know. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, I really hope that I can do it. Because I haven't, I've only done knotless braids one time. And that was four years ago. <laughs> that was four years ago when I went to, um, honestly, Four years ago when I went on my last like really big vacation, which was um, London and Paris. And yeah, I wasn't vlogging at the time. So there's no, there's no vlog of that. But yeah, that was four years ago. So that was the last, I mean, I've been on vacation since then, but like a big vacation like this one. Yeah. So let me go ahead and just start. I know they say do really small pieces. So let's do it. Good morning! Happy Monday! It is like 
8.20 in the morning. I have already been up, washed my dishes, wiped off my counters, went to go get some nail glue because I was watching a few more videos on the knotless braids. In fact, I need to get my, my iPad because there's one that I want to watch like while I'm doing it. But apparently a lot of people use the little nail glue at the bottom to secure the curly piece. So that's what I'm going to be doing as well. I've been watching videos on like how to part and just like you know I just wanted to come out really really good so y'all know I'm not gonna film this part I mean I'm gonna film this part but it's gonna have its own separate tutorial so y'all I'm just gonna like check in with y'all periodically I don't know how much I'm gonna do today I guess it really just depends like how fast I braid I, I really I don't know I had planned to work on it today and tomorrow so we'll just see how it goes but yeah this is how the hair is looking this morning freshly blow dried and uh ready to go Okay, so I'll check back in with y'all later. Hopefully I have like a few rows done before I come back. Okay, y'all, I had to hop on a quick call. So I had to like <laughs> do something to my hair. So my braids, they're coming out so good. Like literally they're coming out so good. It's just, this is just a process. <laughs> I have completed three rows. It's 4:47. So basically it's almost five o'clock. It took me two and a half hours to part my hair. Just to part it. Because I basically like parted the rows. And this is what it's giving right now. Can y'all even see? It looks like literally they're so long. Not so long, but they're like they're past, they're like on my butt. So oh, they're so cute. They are so cute. So I'm, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going until I feel like I can't go anymore. <laughs> um, and just, I wanna have, um, I don't wanna have like half for tomorrow. I wanna have maybe nothing. I really, I don't know. I feel like I'm just like, girl, I just wanna see how how long I can go. Okay, but th this is the update. This is the update and man, wait, wait till I come back. Wait till I come back. Good morning, you guys, the hair. Hello, I will show y'all the full thing in the mirror, but like, oh my gosh, it came out so good. I am literally obsessed with it. Go ahead and open, if y'all can see all these Amazon packages I have right here. So I did have a few more things that I ordered after I did the Amazon haul. So here's everything. I just wanna go through it because this is basically all stuff that I'm bringing with me. So let's see, what is this? Okay, this is a bra that I got. This is a, um, it's a strapless, a strapless push-up bra and it does come with the little straps here but this oh this feels really nice I'm gonna try this on hopefully it fits really good I just felt like I needed a new one so I got that okay we have oh this is a necklace I ordered some jewelry too I ordered like some sunglasses some jewelry Oh, super cute. I just got another little um, 555 necklace because the one that I have tarnished. Fave angel number. So I got this one. I actually got two. So I got this 555 in gold. I got this little Capricorn necklace. I have a silver. I mean, I have a gold one, but I got a silver one. So that's super cute. And then what else? Oh, these are my luggage tags. I got luggage tags because I needed new ones. I got hot pink period so it's nice and bright so I just have to write on my little cards let me actually keep this together write on the cards and then stick the stuff inside so we have to do that as well it's literally I'm about we're about to go get a pedicure which is going to be in a different vlog but girl I mean oh my gosh there's just so much going on I'm leaving tomorrow <laughs> I'm leaving tomorrow so everything is like we're here what is this oh this is the weight okay so well the scale I guess so the scale thing so we can weigh the luggage once it's done so I don't know it's probably gonna be over 50 pounds I would honestly be really surprised if it wasn't and honestly there's really nothing that I can do about it <laughs> there's really nothing that I can do about it it's just kind of like it is what it is I guess I'm just have to pay $140 like I don't know what else to do so I got another eyebrow pencil fave eyebrow pencil this is the only one that I use drugstore $8 it's dark brown Revlon color stay if you're looking for a good one I promise you this is it I've been using it for years it is so good so definitely 10 out of 10 recommend that oh my soap amazing so I have something to wash my body <laughs> I got a little mini Dr. Bronner's 
soap to put in my toiletry bag instead of like you know transferring it into a bunch of bottles i just felt like this would be perfect because like i said I'm, I'm gonna be gone for like two weeks y'all so we need soap i also got some toothbrushes i actually <laughs> these are the toothbrushes that i actually use to brush my teeth but i also use these toothbrushes to lay my edges and i wanted actually i'm about to take it out right now while i'm sitting in here because I wanted one in here I basically this is like my little vanity area so I have one I want one in there because I have an edge control in there and then I have an edge control and a toothbrush in both of my bathrooms because I never know where I'm going to be getting ready and I just like girl I just need it I need it to be available to me I need it to be easy I don't want to have to get up whatever station I'm at is the station that I want to be able to do everything in so period go ahead and drop that right in there and then the rest of these I'll put in my um in my bathroom okay what is this oh sunglasses okay let's try these on oh and it came with a little cleaning cloth cute okay so i got some little y2k sunglasses <laughs> these literally bro these literally look like the sunglasses i had from limited two when i was like 10 and it's so funny that i've like bought them again so let's see what it's giving i think they are so cute oh my gosh it's a vibe yes i'm so happy i got these these look so cute be for real okay oh yes oh my gosh i love these so y'all know the cream um the cream jeans that look that i'm doing with my tan vans i want to wear these so i was like actually i think i got two another option too but these are super freaking cute so mm, love those okay little cleaning cloth okay next plugins because you know I told y'all I'm bringing um plugins for my room I actually think I'm gonna bring two if I can fit two so I could put one in my bathroom and I could put one in my room because it's just it'll just make you feel homey you know so I definitely want that oh here's my other sunglass options okay oh this is my other necklace let's see let's see this one should be the one 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 yeah I got a silver one well not actually it's an 11 11 a silver 11 11 so one thing i'm gonna see every single day is 11 11 and 1 1 1 like every i mean i see all my angel numbers every day but like the ones i promise you will stalk me okay always so yeah okay other two sunglass options okay these aren't i would have preferred better packaging but it's cool so let's see what these are giving oh these are kind of cute i said kind of cute i can't decide if i really like them what do you guys think hmm okay i'm not mad at them they're a little tight so we'll see about that might need to like put them on something to help to stretch them out and then this is the tan oh the tan is cute i don't know i think i do like them do I do y'all what do you think I think they're okay I'm not like in love in love with them I'm not gonna return them because I'm not about to do that today but I think I'm gonna I'm a hold on to this packaging because I, I may or may not keep these the tan ones I absolutely love and I have a pair of black sunglasses I can bring but I just thought these were cute so uh, they're okay I might I might return them so let me um I don't even let me just stick them in here but I don't need the bag to return it but I'll just put it like that okay may or may not keep those a memory card I got a 256 for the vacay well girl for part of the vacay wanted to make sure I have that jewelry what else did I order I ordered some more necklaces I think or some oh some rings these are all my rings okay so if y'all have been watching me, y'all know how I ordered those gold rings from Amazon, right? So I literally ordered the same exact rings in silver because I was trying to, it's like a bunch of them, like eight of them. Um, I was trying to look for some different ones, but I just didn't see any that I was like really in love with. And I was like, I don't love all of these, but I like at least like half of them. So I'm like, let me just go ahead and get these. And the gold ones are holding up really well. So I was like, 
let's just go ahead and pop them in silver too so we have those so we can have jewelry options okay 8 30 i have to leave at what like 9 10 i've been up you guys like i've been up i had to clean up the bathroom and stuff from my um doing my hair and everything okay this is soft brown so i got this one so basically it's like ebony or like black i don't know what it is dark brown auburn soft brown and i think like blonde or something so i got this soft brown one just to help to kind of fill in the front a little bit bit where i have sparse hairs um just so that it won't be you know like really dark so hopefully it works if not well i don't know whatever and then i got another battery so i literally have like five batteries at this point <laughs> and i did girl was that in this vlog or it's not in this vlog this is a pack with me vlog so in the regular vlog y'all saw me go to best buy order the little um what is it the little battery charger so i could charge it outside of my camera i got it and so now i have like i got an extra battery as well so that that's everything so that's everything I want to show y'all. All of that is coming with me. I'm actually about to try on this bra right now because I did a try before you buy. So if I don't like it, I think I will like it. But if I don't, I can go run to Whole Foods right quick after my pedicure and bring that back. So let me go ahead and break down these boxes. One thing about it, the hair is giving. I mean, please, what? 16 hours it took it took me i think a little over 16 hours to do this um they are super long definitely like giving butt length um this was my i did knotless braids for the first time four years ago and this is my first time doing bohemian knotless braids and this is how they came out they look really really good i'm like highly impressed with myself <laughs> i just feel like they came out great so yeah i have them kind of like tied um, back here because I'm getting ready to go get a pedicure. pedicure I'm sitting on my little vanity desk getting ready to pack my makeup so what I'm gonna do actually is let me move this stuff kind of out of the way I'm like should, should I show y'all me or should I show y'all the stuff on the vanity I, I don't know everything that's in my makeup bag I'm literally going to dump it out and wipe out the inside because a lot of the stuff that's in here I don't even really use it so I'm not just going to be bringing stuff for no reason you know like who don't have the space for it at all can i get these open on this side i've literally had this makeup bag for so long it's a Vera bradley makeup bag the inside is like plastic so you can oh my gosh filthy so you can like wipe it like y'all we're just literally so far away so here's my bag i wiped out the inside let's start off with eyebrows so i'm just gonna go ahead and bring these two new pencil so i'm gonna go ahead and open it my other one is not empty but instead of bringing two i'm just gonna bring the one that i know i haven't used yet so we've got our dark brown we've got our oh that's my phone i gotta go get that oh hopefully that's my package so i can go ahead and get that and bring that up okay eyebrows and then of course clean up my eyebrows with concealer and then oh i can pack my brushes well all my brushes are over there. I know which brushes I need. So really look at all of this. Okay, eyebrows first. Then I normally color correct orange concealer. Put a little of this concealer on top of that. Then I go in with my foundation. I'm gonna bring both of these foundations. Honestly, maybe I should have got a, no. They have a lot in here. Okay, foundation. Then I do my highlight concealer. I do my contour. 
Um, or should I? I thought maybe I'll wipe these products off, but I'm not. Okay. Contour. Then I set everything. Where's my Laura Mercier? Set everything right here. Oh, no. Set my under eye. Then I set my contour. Under eye contour and then I normally brush that off then I spray then I do my blush where's my other blush my blush my highlight my little moles and then my eyeshadow oh I gotta con contour my nose contour this is this eyeshadow palette is so bomb this is the tart toasted palette look at the inside so pretty literally it's all the shades that you need like transition shades something really nice and light for the lid either a shimmer or a matte and then like something for your crease this palette is gorgeous so love this shout out to Tarte for sending that to me my little travel lip plumper that I bought I'm just gonna bring one one is enough and then my lippy so I'm gonna do obviously the only two lip liners I really wear are brown and nutmeg so here's nutmeg right here yeah brown so both of these these are by um nyx i love brown and nutmeg these are the only two lip liners i wear and then my um my sharpener of course and then i'm gonna bring where's my fenty 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 Okay, so for lip glosses, I'm going to bring my Fenty Sweet Mouth. I'm also going to bring this e.l.f. Um, Peach Bellini. This color, I know it looks super pasty and white, but it's so, so pretty with a liner. So I'm going to bring these two and maybe like, let me bring fortune cookie. That's what I want. And fortune cookie. So I'm going to basically bring these three glosses. And then for nude lip, yo, I got this from the beauty supply store. This, it kind of looks like a concealer in here. This tan color is so pretty. It's called High Shine. It's by Nika K. They pretty much sell this at like all beauty supply stores. And the color is Love on Taupe. Fire. So those are the three glosses I'm going to bring. And then for actual lip colors, I'm going to bring this is this satin ribbon yeah satin ribbon this is by nyx as well satin ribbon i'm gonna bring this one this one is a little more pink it's called cheekies abu dhabi okay so i'm gonna bring those three literally all nudes maybe i'll bring a red who knows one day i might do a red lip so this is a red we'll bring one red and i'm still going to use the same liners now with that i may want a clear gloss and i don't think Oh, do I have a clear gloss? Hmm. This is the um, the shifting stuff that makes your lips and cheeks super pink. I love this for a day on a daily basis. So I'm gonna bring this. And then what else do we have? Is that it? Oh, I'm gonna bring this little blush tape. This is a liquid blush. This is also by Tarte. I only tried it out kind of like one time, so I want to try it out again. I'm gonna bring that. And then is that, that might be it for up here. And then of course we need our mascaras. I probably should have got a new one of these, but that's okay. I have this one. These are both like really um, like thin wands. So I'm gonna bring both of those. This is by Lancome. I'm gonna bring this. I think it's called, I don't know if it's Sealess Seal Booster, XL Booster. It's like white and then you put it on top of your mascara and it makes your lashes like super big so i'm gonna do that super big it just like i don't know it's like putting a primer on and then putting that on top okay so that's everything that's in here on my makeup oh i am gonna bring this okay here's my little drawer so we need lashes i'm gonna bring all fresh lashes these are my favorite lashes ever they're number 13 you can only get them from the beauty supply store as far as i know um they're they're just great super bomb so i'm gonna bring i'll bring three i have three fresh ones so i bring three fresh pairs of lashes makeup brushes pretty much all of these honestly i really hope i'm able to close my suitcase <laughs> okay now what i like to do i'm in my room 
I like to um, go through literally every drawer in here and like look at every area and be like, do I need this? Do I not? So I'm looking here behind the door. I have robes. Already got my robe. I need to ask for a robe for my room so I can have something like big and warm. But I have my two robes in my bag already for like getting ready and stuff. So we're good on that. Anything that I see that I need is going right here on my bed. So my journal and a pen. I definitely need my journal. I definitely need a pen. I'm going to bring a book. I'm going to bring this book. So I want that. I have this little mini sewing kit. I'm going to grab that. I need my little facial roller as well and the little oil that goes with it. So put that here. Sometimes I like to highlight when I read, so I'm going to bring a highlighter as well. This can probably go in my carry-on. I'm going to bring two pins, actually, just to make sure I have something. So bring those. Okay, y'all, this is pretty much every, can y'all see, this is pretty much everything that I have left to pack besides my little toiletries that are like, you know, last thing in the morning, like the contacts I'm wearing and stuff like that. But this is everything. So let's go ahead and put all this away. I am just keeping my fingers crossed that I can get my last little bit of stuff in here. This space is for my toiletry bag once I like roll it up and y'all see I have my bras over here that need to be like smashed somewhere in here I guess. And then this is my little carry on basically all shoes a little bit of jewelry in there my mirror I think I have something under the mirror too. And then this is my little like personal item. So. This may or may not be the last clip of this vlog. I am going to, my plan is to show y'all like the final, final, like zipped up suitcase in the morning, but I have to get up at 2 a.m. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I have to get up at 2 a.m. So we're, we're just gonna see, Finger, fingers crossed. Okay, if this is the last clip, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna really try to show y'all the rest um, in the morning, so we'll see. question is will it close let me sit on it <laughs> oh my gosh this is so insane I already undid the expander so okay I got the sides well I got one side I didn't even weigh it but my mom um weighed her suitcase and she said it was 70 pounds <laughs> seven zero so we already know, babes, we're paying the additional fee. Oh yeah, I got it, okay. Okay, got the sides. Now, see this little front right here, but I should just be able to just push the stuff. This is crazy. I can't wait to show it, um, tell y'all how much this, I say show y'all, but I don't know if I'll be able to show y'all. We'll see, tell y'all how much it weighed. Oh my gosh, we made it. We made it! Oh my goodness. Okay, let me get my little lock. It is 3.58 in the morning, four o'clock. I'm ready, my mom was, of course, my family was here early, but I'm ready at four o'clock like my mom said to be. Here's the suitcase. Okay. Okay. Here's my stuff. We're ready to go. Okay, y'all, that is going to be it for this little pack with me vlog. I'm putting on my tennis shoes right now, getting ready to walk out the door. So girl, when I talk to y'all again, we're gonna be in a new location. Okay, we're gonna be in a new location. So y'all will see, be sure to subscribe to the channel for all the travel vlogs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, girl. Stick around for the travel vlog. Subscribe so y'all can see this hair tutorial when it goes live because baby, okay? Woo, it's giving, it's giving. Love you guys, bye.